Hey, hey, how's it going? Starting early, because I really want to finish this, and Vinemon today, because I leave tomorrow for about a week. <laughs> so, I want to get these games done now so I can start fresh stuff when I get back from my little holiday. Uh, in terms of crosscode, I spent a little bit of time grinding after the last stream. Uh, Shizuk is with us. Fun, fun dialogue between her and Emily. <laughs> and I got all the stuff I wanted. So Serene Bubble plus Zealous Lambalar plus Moonwalkers. Uh, Sunshine Bracer, High Meister Gloves, two Berserker Claws, and the Meteor Trigger. I'm gonna try out this offensive set first and see how that goes. I lose a lot of defense, but I gain a lot of attack. I don't know, we'll see. Deck 70 balance. <laughs> Six hundred and seventy-three attack, which still isn't even like that huge. Emily is seven hundred and sixty-nine. Five forty, six forty. Okay, I still have the second highest. But Emily just pure attack. Which makes sense, she's a DPS class, but <laughs> Yeah, we only have I think we're on the final chapter. Yeah, chapter 14. We gotta go to Vermilion Wasteland one last time. And yeah, I'm just gonna push the story. I still have all these quests to do and I don't care. I'm not doing them. I just want to do the story. And then finish this game. You will embark to Vermilion Wasteland. This will be a point of no return. Make sure to keep a save before you enter. So yeah. Okay, is everyone right? I like how Shizuka just left. <laughs> it's just, yeah, okay, now we're, we're done here. I think so. Oh, wee, let's go. Alright then. I'll have to get you three on Jet's cargo ship. Jet's what? Is that a special location? You will see. Leia, how about you go ahead? I will need a moment to get things ready for these two. <laughs> or those two. Let us meet at the bridge's balcony. Meet. As much as the endgame of this has been annoying me, I am very much going to miss it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this adorable French idiot. <laughs> Sacre bleu! We really are on a cargo ship. This is not really part of the playground, is it? Neither is Vermilion Wasteland. And this is the safest way to go there. Hi! Would you look at that colorful trio? Um, bonjour, I'm Emily. No time for inter introductions. I'll get you daubers over to that place and we're done. Okay. Let's see, how do we do this? Hmm. You two, get close together. The blue last jumps on my back. I can hold the other two. Ready? 
Whoa! <laughs> you really think this will work? Ah, you folks away next to nothing. Hold on tight. <laughs> no hesitation from Leia. Wow, that was weird. You're welcome. I'll be off then. Good luck. Merci for the ride, Captain. Where? Right. Where are we exactly? Ah, I see you have arrived. You are at the border of Vermilion Wasteland. Just continue straight ahead. Jump down the wall and you'll be inside. Merci, Monster. Let's go. Ah, we're here now, I see. Do you remember where to go? Yes, it's to the west. Close to the quest hub. Quest hub it is, Zalonzi. Been a little while. <laughs> Actually, no, it's been like two streams since we destroyed this place. <laughs> it's around here somewhere. That building to the far north. I wouldn't say discovered, more like rediscovered. <laughs> Here it is. Hmm. Looks closed to me. I thought it would open. But I guess my user ID changed since I'm now an avatar of my old self. Any help, Monster Asimov? Let me have a look. Ah, yes, that should do it. I still think these doors look like little faces. They have, like, the Goemon smile. Thanks! Onwards! Hmm. Trani, please. Mon Dieu, what's with this creep in the atmosphere? That was part of the point, I think. Guys, stop. <laughs> what the heck are those? out of it. Oh yeah, I was watching um Ghost Charm's video that he just put out before the stream. I was going to start right at 11, but I kind of went over watching that. <laughs> it's an hour-long video. Whoa, those rhinos were creepy too. I'm sort of surprised that those enemies are still here. Yeah, me too. I suppose this part was hidden well enough, so they just missed them. Can't you just disable them? I would rather not. Why? We are not allowed to be here, so I would prefer to leave as few traces as possible. Makes sense? More creepy enemies, I guess. Oh well. That's quite the hallway. I didn't expect such a huge place. Also, my hands are hurting again because my, uh... My wrist gloves are... Breaking, so I can't really wear them anymore. I need new ones. My compression gloves. It's not as huge as it seems. Lots of doors of nothing behind them. Let's have a look around. This... this was the old meeting room. 
where I discussed things with Satoshi, Geltham, and Shizuka. Yeah, we had a lot of difficult discussions here. This room hasn't been used ever since Satoshi moved back to the old Haido. There's not much to see here. Got the spooky ambience. Yes, this was my workplace. This terminal here is where I gathered my tasks. I had a list of targets I had to watch. I submitted all the intel I found, collaborated with our spies outside the game. Occasionally I also submitted IDs of additional players to turn into Evotars. Fellow players of our investigation targets and so forth. Having friends around actually helped their memories return faster. Huh, alright. So I might have ended up here as well because of Leia or Lucas? Potentially, yes. Fortunately, you didn't. I remember that I saw a recording in this room. It seems I can't play it again, that's too bad. You would have seen my real self. The real Sidwell? Yes. I saw it here when my work started. A video I recorded for myself. A reminder of my tasks within the game. Which people I... Or, which people I had to interrogate. Things we already knew about them. Why? We, isn't that weird? You were just Sidwell playing Crossworlds, no? Why remind yourself about that with a video recording? I wasn't just playing Crossworlds the normal way. I was using a special connection. Playing the game continuously. Or was I? Thank you for your contribution. Ah! Trani! Saw it again. That person. Just breathe slowly or something, okay? This is frustrating. Meet where? Huh? Right, you said you met that person in Evotar Ground. Was it in this room? No, it was somewhere else. Right, I remember. That room is not accessible by default, I just opened it. Let's go there. Convenient. <laughs> oh, the music is getting more and more bits added as we go deeper. I like how there's no battle music here. I find that cool. <laughs> just continues with the creepy ambience. Emily. <laughs> You're not helping. Do I have to break them at the same time? Oh no, never mind. I thought they were making more of the... Uh... the colored ones. Dice mages! Funny dice mage, knowing to punch though. <laughs> this, this is it. My personal room. Neat office. Whoa, a whole bonsai garden. Who? Oh. Oh, what a pretty person. Somebody you know? Yeah, you could say that. Manuela. She was a person I used to work with. We were rather close. 
Actually, Leia, I think I told you about her several times, didn't I? Huh, so why was I left out? It was long before Leia entered the playground. Back when she was created, when I entered the game as Sidwell. I actually spent a lot of time with Leia, teaching her things. Okay. You two share a lot of history, never would have guessed. Those times were complicated. Somehow, Leia reminded me of her. Manuela couldn't talk either, you see. The one person that fell close to us. Yes, it was here. That person, I met him here. Let's have one last talk. Trani, pull yourself together. Sir Jay, there's a hidden entrance behind those shelves. Can you open it? Let me have a look. Ah, that must be it. Just a moment. What? What's back there? This is creepy. This was where things ended for me. What? I can't remember any further. We have to go and see for ourselves. Alright, let's get this over with. There's a heartbeat in the music now. By now you should have realized your true circumstances. Whoa. <laughs> you were just one of many that came before you. The time has come to release you of your position. I'm sure there is still information left that you decided not to share. That is why this will be your final interrogation. What? <laughs> what is this? Why is Sidwell here? It was him all this time, I... Pull yourself together, Troni. It looks like he's about to attack. There is no point fighting him. Really? We'll see about that. Ow! We're barely doing damage, what is this? Are you okay? Leia, Tron. What? I had a closer look at this Sidwell. It's a scripted enemy using his avatar's appearance. It looks like Galtham was involved in its creation. This time, it's using a ridiculously large defense boost to negate your damage. I found a way to manipulate his clones, defeat them to boost your attack. Also, make sure to tell Emily. I cannot send her this message. Okay. Ah, uh, Emily, attack the clones! Sergei did a thing! <laughs> what? Um, alright, I guess? <laughs> oh, we can beat the clones, and they make us stronger. Awesome! Can't break them right away. I gotcha. Oh, I thought I was dodging this thing, but no, that's just the. No, not again. Don't worry, Trani. We can bleat the bleat. We can bleat the clones before they attack you. It's fine. Fortunately, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay, I need to use a, uh, a combat art for that. I'm out, Leia! Why is it always me? <laughs> Looks like using 
increasing his defense again. Dang it. Is this the first boss fight in the entire game where we actually have our friends? Although it may as well still be solo because, uh... Oh, she's back. Never mind. <laughs> Your friends auto revive after a while. You know what? I got these uh, full courses that I'm otherwise never going to use. <laughs> May as well pop them here, right? Those in the region. <laughs> Whoops, missed one. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> See, there were still enemies left for me. Oh, I see. The ones that are about to attack are more easy to break. Get out of here! <laughs> We just beat him, punched his face. This, this was awesome. I never expected we could just defeat him. I guess it was just an enemy designed in his image. But still, some of them look exactly like you. Yes, because I used to be just one of them. I remember now. Something I knew for some time now. Something I suppressed all this time when I was spying in Crossworlds. My whole existence resided in this game. The message I recorded for myself, it told me about a prolonged playing session, that I used a special connection to the game, and that my memory would be fuzzy because of it. I just accepted it, and did as I told myself. Days and weeks went by, spying on other players. Sending intel, coordinating intel. This is how he was able to be in so many different places at the same time. But as my memory returned, I realized that I was Sidwell no longer. That I was stuck in the game. I, myself, was an Evotar. And I was working for Sidwell. I'd also remember that this whole procedure had repeated itself several times. Sidwell, he created Evotars of himself would tell them the narrative of the long playing session. He would then use them as reliable and capable spies within the game, for as long as it worked. And once they finally did find out, 
he'd dispose of them. And that is what happened in this room. It was my last interrogation, to make sure I didn't keep any secrets from the real me. Damn, this is messed up. Tron, there's one thing I'm still puzzled about. That is, why is your evil tar still here? It sounds like you experienced your interrogation here, so... Would this not imply that your evil tar has been deleted? You're right. I should have been deleted, and in fact, I was. What? But I found a loophole, and that's why I'm still here. Maybe it's best if I just showed you. Let's go back to the new meeting room. M0402. I like the one of Sidwell up there. <laughs> I already realized I was an Evatar several weeks before I was deleted. But there was nothing I could do about it, so I just played along. I suppose this is what usual this is usually what white weak clothes did. But then I found a way to escape. It's still here, my former user ID. It was on the day that Leia escaped the Evotar room. That day really changed everything. It seemed like the whole interrogation business was bound to break down, and Leia's reappearance strongly hinted toward an elaborate mission to find and rescue Satoshi. To achieve that, they'd have to secure the Evotar server, and potentially save all the Evotars on it. Unfortunately, Sidwell's evil tars, as I would eventually recall, were stored on a separate server. Hardly anyone even knew about it, so its data was likely to be lost. So, in order to have any chance of being rescued, I'd have to migrate to the main evil tar server. And there was just one way to do that. To create a new evil tar based on myself. I honestly wasn't sure if it would even work. I just did it. I submitted my own user ID as a potential interrogation target. Unfortunately, without Sidwell taking any notice. And thus, a new Evotar was created. And that's who I am. That's why I'm still here. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So you're an Evotar of an Evotar of Sidwell? That's right. What? <laughs> no way. So, what now? What is it? I told you my whole story, there's nothing more to add. I'm still an Evotar of Sidwell. Sure, I was used by him, but he was all he will always be a part of who I really am. We oui. So do I really deserve to still be here? To stay in Homestead? Not gonna lie, this is a tough one. Tron, to be frank. This is not something just for us here to decide. Right. We all knew it would be difficult, but there was no reason in delaying it any further. <laughs> How'd we get back? <laughs> the day had arrived. We had to tell them, everyone involved. That is the whole story. I know there is no point in apologizing. Still, I am sorry. The least I can do is help you catch the real Sidwell. I'll tell you everything I know about him. And all the things I have yet to remember. But independent of that, the question is, am I allowed to stay in this village? That is up to you. I'll be outside and await your decision. I can't believe this. It really was him? Who thought it was a good idea to just allow him to be here? 
You heard what he said, right? He is an Evotar created from another Evotar. I always wondered if that was possible. That really doesn't change the fact that it's him. The same person who didn't think twice about torturing players. Players like you, Luke. You and Leia. You two still remember what you went through because of him, right? I certainly remember what he did to me. Not, not even to mention Galtham. That is true. Hold on. Hands are sweaty. Sidwell pushed Galtham toward his early demise. And I will never forgive him for that. But are we in the right blaming Tron for this as well? After all, he is helping us to catch the real culprit. That's all great, but he doesn't need to stick around to do that. Lock him away, get the information you need, and delete him. Whoa there! Doesn't that sound an awful lot like Sidwell's old business model? Look, maybe it's just me, but in the end, he is just an Evotar. Okay, he was created by himself, I guess. But still, wasn't he forced to act against his will? Forced? More like he acted according to his own plan. I really don't see how this changes anything. He is just a clone. No, he's not! <laughs> just like Leia isn't your clone! Emily, this is not fair! You act like I don't have a say in this. Sure, Sidwell didn't do bad things to me, but unlike most of you, I actually know Tronny. He played together with me and Leia, and he was such a nice dork. Heck, if it wasn't for him, stupid me might still be mad at Leia today. He just used you. No, I'm sure it was more than that. Leia, you're with me, right? You gotta say something. That is right. Leia may be the only person here that knew them both well. Sidwell and Tron. So Leia, what do you think? Does he deserve a second chance? Should Tron stay with us? <laughs> I get to choose. Oh, there's sad Leia. Oh wee, that's right. Personally, I see no harm in having him here. If anything, it helps for him to stay cooperative. I agree. Seriously? <laughs> what do you think, Sir, Sir J? Yes, it is the right thing to do. I can't believe this. You really let him off the hook that easily. Fine, I don't care. It's your village, do what you want. I'm out. Hi! <laughs> Tronny! Hey. We made our decision, you can stay. What? For real? We. Of course, we hope to have your full support in trying to catch Sidwell. That, that goes without saying. I really don't know what to say. Thanks. Thank you so much. Our boy. <laughs> Sidwell or not, he's still our boy. So the days went by with a game populated by both players and Evotars. Finally, we set foot on the great continent of the Croissant, entering Rookie Harbor. To the right, you'll find the Info Hub. A great place if... Yeah, it's such a nice tree to run around, isn't it? Look, I get it. Who cares about the boring Info Hub? Still, it's a place you might want to remember for later. Just saying. <laughs> As you probably know, Leia cannot write. However, I found a way for her to look for words reasonably past. And here it is, the Leia board! How about a demonstration, Leia? Hi, Leia, why? Wow, amazing improvement. Leia, please. <laughs> Hello, my name is Leia. Whoa! Sherry, finally you can communicate. Tell me all your hobbies right now. <laughs> Can't find words? No! <laughs> well, it is a start. That's so cute! <laughs> it's really like I always imagined the perfect vacation would be. Minus the flying fish monsters. I just wish swimming was an option. Why? Well, swimming is fun? Swimsuits? What? No, come on! Swimsuit skins have been around since forever. Of course there are, it's easy money. It's just that we Evatars can't access them. Why? <laughs> yeah, it's not fair. Devil standard, right? Time to fight for our rights to cosmetics. 
<laughs> Sassy Leia. <laughs> she just wants a bikini. Yummy, almost like the real thing. Delicious. So they finally support proper taste senses, that's great. Help the lad Rockford cheese as well, you have to try it. Oh no, <laughs> I want to eat. No, you don't. I'm sure that taste is impossible to simulate without breaking pain, pain constraints. Don't listen to him, Leia. <laughs> Sergei, I hope this won't be a regular thing. No, I promise this is an exception. It's a solar cruiser or something. <laughs> I never expected Instatainment to use such up-to-date models. Yeah, it sure keeps the cargo floating. How much longer, Polly? I think I'm getting seasick. <laughs> this is all automatic, so I have to read quick. Finally, after plenty of redesigns, today we can proudly present to you Homestead's very own monument. It's us! What? It's a huge Leia! Wow, nice! I honestly expected a display of Satoshi. Truth is, that's what they were originally planning. But I managed to talk them out of it. Congratulations, sister. You deserve it. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I probably could have finished this last time if I just kept at it. We didn't need the gear. We now have a pretty long list of volunteers. Looks like we'll get the village populated pretty quickly. Those are not the Evlatars we saw in Vermilion Wasteland, right? No, it'll be hard to convince Instatainment to get those back into the game. Anything connected to the Evlatar interrogation is taboo to them. Damn. Well, I keep hold of a backup, so should we still find a way? We did it, Tron. We found his current whereabouts. Good. Make sure you are well prepared before you contact any authorities. We need evidence. Decisive evidence. Alright, enough break. Yeah, I just didn't know how much was left. Like, I had nobody around to tell me that, oh, it's actually a really short final chapter. <laughs> Ready to start the stress test? Let's get to work. This new enemy type has been breaking in mass fights. Apparently they fixed it and I want to test it. So let's see who can defeat more. Credits battle? Oh hell yeah, it's, it's the radical fish himself. <laughs> I like how it's the S-rank music. Can't block them. Good to know. Oh, I've actually never used this one. <laughs> that was fancy.
My favorite part about the level 3 combat arts is they can't be knocked out of them. <laughs> That's what I meant to use. <laughs> Defeated fishes. <laughs> How many did she defeat? Thought we were competing. Josh, she's competing. We should place some tables and chairs outside, don't you think? Oh, Zhang, let me see if I can get something from inside my house. So I could just put those on the grill? Yes, as far as I understood. Just like the real thing? Pretty much. Just much harder to burn, I heard. <laughs> Easy mode. <laughs> Man, I can't wait. Hungry. Don't you feel a little bit worried? I heard we're the first players to eat this stuff. Come on, it'll be delicious. Greetings, good people of Homestead. Looks like we arrived on time. Come on, tell me he'll show up too. Buggy, please. Your stakeholder friend has to be here. Who else is supposed to handle the meat? <laughs> How often do you plan to repeat that joke? Satoshi! Get off your desk already! I totally could have finished this last time if I knew. I like how Homestead still has the Vermilion Wastelands, like, <laughs> thing there. <laughs> it's icon on the side. Disable the XP. Ice physics are toggled on at all times. Healing out of combat, only possible landmarks. Oh god, I would have hated that. Apparently that's how the game used to be. <laughs> you can only do level 1 combat arts, no matter what else you have unlocked. Increases damage taken by 300%. Regular enemy and boss levels will be matched to your stat average. We'll be more aggressive. <laughs> oh god, no regen? Fuck that. There is no cooldown. <laughs> Every hit instantly kills you. Hmm. <laughs> 
enable Sergei's hacks and do insane damage all the time. <laughs> Which time? Every time you do a perfect dash, time slows down for a few seconds. Devil Trigger, you are always at max SP and using combat arts. Do not consume any SP. Wow. Start with only one dash that has three times the invincibility and less ending lag. That's interesting. Overload is disabled, I mean you can stay in it. Oh, I love that! <laughs> yes, please. Doubles the length of all consumable items. Remove all shade blockades in the circuitry. Well, I feel like this should just be the default. <laughs> can only have one. <laughs> Some other stuff here that I want, but can't have it. <laughs> it's too expensive. Hang on, what's it called? <laughs> oh, it's just a hyphen. Supported bonus code. Hmm. Well, whatever. But yeah, that was that was cross code. Um. <laughs> you know, I said I wasn't interested in starting from scratch, but these new game plus options are really cool. <laughs> <clears throat> and if I ever do play the game again, it'll definitely be with some of this stuff turned on. I might. This actually gives me. An incentive to achievement farm a little bit. Like, I never touched the arena, so maybe I could do that. Yep, we just finished it. <laughs> I could have finished this last time, I didn't realize chapter 14 was that short, but. That works because now I can just dedicate the whole rest of the day to Vinemon. Which we also shouldn't need a shit ton of time for, but. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. But yeah. I'm going to take a quick break. And then we'll be back with Vinemon, and then we'll finish that. Just in time, because I'm leaving tomorrow for about a week. <laughs> so I gotta get this shit done. So, yeah, give me a minute. Well, more like five minutes. And then, yeah, we'll be back.